Hi everybody, good morning. I'm doing a good request to do this room uh, from uh, the sun. The one is the Gnome Identity Provider hike over to Paul in the park for Gnome Authentication Puzzle Adventure. What malicious firmware image are the Gnomes downloading? Now, some means they give us um, the GNOME, where they are the GNOME people? The GNOME Identity Provider said it looks like the GWT uses JWKS, maybe JWKS Poofing, this is key part, and then they give us two links to learn more. Uh, let's start the machine. Um, the links is this one. Uh, post Wega. If you want to learn more, JW attack. There's all of them. Signata, fake, brute forcing. But for us, is more not a secret brute forcing. We're doing the header. Header parameter injection. Because now it's a. Uh, it need to assign a self sign JWT. We're doing something here. And then this is the tool, the GW tool, and then we have uh, this one, uh, um, a wiki that link they said you enter it. We more JPU cast spoofing, and basically we need to uh, generate our own JQ. And let's first of all, before we jump there, now we're freezing again. This is freezing, believe me, guys. Uh, this is my third video now to trying to finish this room. Uh, it loses connection every time you go out. Until you, hi Paul here. Welcome to a web server. I've been using it for JWT analysis. I've discovered the GNOME have diagnosed interface that authenticate in Atlas identify identity provider. Unfortunately, the GNOME uh, the US user and password. Uh, recovered in 2015, don't have sufficient access to view the GNOME diagnostic interface. Can you help me gain access to the GNOME diagnostic interface and discover the name of the file the GNOME downloaded? When you identify the file name, enter it in the badge. Uh, into in the badge. What badge? I don't know what badge. Um, first of all, they tell us go to notes, so we can go to notes. Notes is very important. One very important note here is, he said to you, uh, I have this. This is very important. He said, uh, I have this website and they have a W, so we can put file there. They give us credential and they give us um, tana tana. What they give us? They give us. Um, this is linked to portal login page, but most important is this one. This one, when you try to log in, so you get token, token, you get session, session, you get login. So if you go there, you get first of all, you get that, and you can see we got we got a key there. So the to oh no, the token. Uh, that's the end of the token. So if you do this quickly, there you can see what it is. For example, very interesting. We are a GNOME. We are a GNOME user, and admin is false. You can change them because of the the signature we don't have, but we have these little things there. Uh, I'm losing the connection again. You see, you switch the window, it uh, kick you out. And uh, I was uh, no, it's not kicking me out. No, thanks God. Uh, so if I do curl to um, to this thing so we can oh as you can see that's the how it look the digital JWKS it's part of an N for RSA we need to have a fake one for us now let's get this one just to, to test something so we can know what we're talking about so if you do W get and you can do uh, mm, what that uh, GW2 it's already installed if I take this token there so you can understand what I mean because this token is signed, so it needs that that key. So if I go my V, my S, I will do this thing J W ten 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 ten. What I supposed to do again? I forgot. Yeah, you give it that uh, the 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 signet. Now it tell you it's signed, so it uh, it's signed and you just need a key to verify it. This signet is valid, so you can understand this. Uh, remove. Uh, I'm just doing this for testing. Let me remove that. 
and let me remove the the one we got it so now we are clear so so for us to to test these ones we need to have a fake we need to create our own we need to create this we need to have our own we need to create something like that our fake one we need to host it we can host it under this one so the steps to this I'm doing it quite uh, faster so we can't uh, don't lose the connection guys so first of all we need to generate a private key and public key I will put all this link in the comments so you can see them so we have the public and we have private now I need to generate the GWKS this uh, little things I need to generate our fake one with our own public and private keys I need to do that, I will use this python script quickly uh, control C, I'm doing it quickly so guys I don't want to so if I do that what's wrong happen here This is a wrong script. No, it's not that one. Uh, where did I solve this script now? Uh, this one. So we have uh, the private and the public. So that's that's that. So um, so now I need to generate a W. That, that that I'm not using that script for, for that. I'm using this one. So this one basically you can see it's it will generate a W case for us from our uh, uh, the private and. Uh, that's the from the you see the public key is connecting there and he's opening that so, so if I run that so now we got our JWT JWKS file now we can copy that we can go uh, and we can put it in the W JWKS.json and we paste it there so now we have our fake fake key evil key one so we because now we can access this w because like from uh, from uh, cat notes you see he said he has he has a website there so we can use curl and I call J, uh, jwks uh, dot json now you see now I can call it that's what the, the trick part of it so we can, we host it we can host it and and that thing now we have our fake so now what else we can do we can do is we can get um, our uh, authentication now we can get the uh, working JSON now we can get our uh, this is the real token before before changing it let me copy this one quickly where is my data and then we can just put it there and then copy this control C and then you can paste it there. let's see we're using the GWT token to generate a new one from the original one and then uh, um, I wanted to to change admin. Let me print it so it needs the, the, the background change. What happened here? So what exactly do this? Uh, it sign it with our private key. That's why we generate the private key, and then we changing. That's what we do, and this is very important part. We're changing the JQ URL to our fake one. Remember our fake one? 
this fake one, you can see the fake one we change in it in the command here and then we need to use assign it of a private key now for example we got this and new token now let's this what we have here let's be clear we have note something now I can get this one now let us to confirm that everything is working I can do w get take this one there we can do what we did uh, before this is the the key that is working that's the fake one so if I can say JW tool and I give him that and tell him now sign it with our uh, check test it with our fake one so minus V minus JW uh, now we can see it's valid so our fake one our fake JSON is working so cut notes so after we get the the next phase is to go to this part send the token now if I go where is our fake to uh, the correct uh, token this is the token we got that's the the, f the one remember we did admin uh, uh, admin is true and um, yeah we changed that so so let's see if it does work so if I paste that one there so opposite uh, so if I get if it all working we get session uh, we got session nice so we got the session so if I go to session what's next one is this one sorry guys a small text I know when I zoom it is just freeze I don't know why so so we can go now to the session and then just copy this session there and then we suppose login and if you log in you can see the answer for the question the firmware update available ref refrigerate what refrigeration dash bootnet dot binary bin that's what was downloaded in the and uh, so as a conclusion guys yeah to uh, before things go off you generate your private and public key you generate w token with this and then you do job two to sign it and uh, we just we, because here we only changing admin to true uh, other option uh, no no this one is different story the, the first, sorry guys the the one that we use is this one uh, so this one uh, because uh, yeah this one is the one that generated WTS this one is if you want not use G the GW2 tool you can do Python to create for you the same things um, yeah you can um, change it to admin change it to true this is if you want to use a Python but you can use JW tool directly you don't need to use Python for this the Python is for your WTS uh, I think that's it guys uh, thank you very much hope you like it and so, uh, sorry for the small text I don't know it's a freezing I don't know what's uh, with it and have a good day